We are back and we are still in Brian Tracy's sales success. We're going to be diving into chapter 15 and it's all about establishing mega credibility. What is mega credibility? Glad you asked. We're going to be discussing that right here, right now. So why do you need mega credibility? It's right here in the very first sentence. The average, well, we don't like the word average, but we'll continue. The average customer is bombarded with hundreds and even thousands of commercial sales messages every day. The customer today is therefore extremely skeptical and suspicious of any and all sales efforts. So this reminds me of about three or four chapters previously, we talked about selling without selling. And that's because we know that in today's customers, as it says here in the book, they are skeptical and suspicious of any and all sales messages. So you must learn how to develop high levels of credibility what we call mega credibility in everything you do that affects the customer and the buying decision. So everything that you do that affects the customer's buying decision or the sale itself, you want to you know, establish mega credibility. So this is why the major obstacle to buying today is the fear of failure in the mind of the customer and i don't know about you but i know i can uh, agree that i don't like to feel like a failure especially in today's social age when it's so easy to have everyone chime in on the decisions that you make or don't make uh, you know and then you to feel you know a sense of failure if you are to get negative feedback so the more the more customers believe you and what you say the lower their fear of making a mistake in the buying relationship so as long as they establish trust or you establish trust and they believe what you're saying and they believe what if they believe in who you are as a person uh, probably because of your personality and, and the power of the suggestion that we talked about uh, in a previous previous chapter, the more they believe that, the more likely they are going to be to let their guards down and they will lose that fear. So your main job is to position yourself as the low risk provider uh, of your product or service. Position yourself as the low risk rather than the low price seller. So low risk. We as human beings, we are risk averse. I don't care who you are if you are normal. I know a few of us aren't normal, but if you are normal, then you are risk averse. And he, Brian even states in the book that given the option of paying high, paying more money for less risk or less money with a higher risk, human beings almost 99% of the time would rather pay more money and you know incur less risk so think about that think of yourself your service your product as you know focusing on and selling to those under the promise of low risk versus low price what are the five elements of mega credibility did you ask that were you wondering i'm sure you were well even if you didn't we're going to share those with you right now the first area is the salesperson. We talked about in the last chapter about your appearance. And that's what it says here. Your appearance, your behavior, your attitude, your clothes, you know, how well kept, your grooming, all of that adds to your mega credibility. If you didn't check out the last video, I'm going to encourage you to do that. But you know that the first impression about you is made in four seconds of them seeing you. And then they finalize their opinions of you in 30 seconds. The second one, the second element of mega credibility is your reputation. 85% uh, of the sales decision is based on what is called mouth, or no, what is called word of mouth, mouth of word. What is called word of mouth. So 85% of the purchasing or buying decision, whether they use you or your competitor, is based on word of mouth. 
what are people saying about you and that's what your reputation is and that can be priceless be sure your brochures handouts sales material and business cards all look first class you never know how far or how quickly those materials are going to make their way into the hands of a prospect or a customer the third element of mega credibility is one that we're all aware of, but we may not be utilizing it to our advantage, and that is social proof. We are in the most social time in the history of mankind. Perhaps nothing is more persuasive than stories of other customers in similar situations who have purchased your product or service and were happy, ecstatic with their decisions. So I'm going to ask you, are you effectively using testimonial letters, lists, photographs, or videos of your happy customers, clients, prospects, whatever they are? Are you effectively using those as social proof? If you are not, I guarantee you're missing you know, a vital area for impact in your presentations or the sales process. The fourth element of mega credibility is authority. An authoritative voice is often the decisive factor. Publications, magazines, news stories mentioning you or your product or service build credibility. So on that note, I'm going to build my credibility just a bit right here with an article that I wrote for the Tampa Realtor Magazine. And this is their global issue talking about expanding your global reach as I am uh, one of the not self-proclaimed but I'm very knowledgeable in the world of international real estate working with foreign buyers but this adds to my credibility with buyers with foreign buyers or with domestic sellers looking to get higher price points or sell faster to maybe a foreign buyer so that's where authority comes in so symbols of affluence or affluence uh, and authority such as your dress your briefcase wristwatch and even the quality of the pen you use add or subtract from your credibility so i have what's called a money pen it was given to us by our by the miami association of realtors my money pen is a heavy pen so it's uh, you know with weight comes significance so it's a heavy pen writes in blue so anytime i get ready to have my customers wet sign a contract or any paperwork that's the pen because i know when i hand it to them they're going to look down at the pen and it says industry leader on there and it does everything that i need it to to add to my credibility and the last element of mega credibility the fifth one is the product or service itself so when you show that the value the customer receives far outweighs in the price they pay for the product or service that you're selling, then that adds credibility to you as the salesperson. So you always want to go above and beyond. Make sure that the five that the salesperson, your reputation, social proof, the product or service and authority are used to help you establish mega credibility. And that's going to do it for this video. We've got chapter 16 coming up next and it's all about handling objectives effectively. So you won't want to, so you don't want to miss that one, excuse me, and go back, check out the previous, what, 14 chapters. We've got some good stuff. It's not just because I'm saying it, Brian Tracy, one of the leading sales experts all uh, you know in the history of time I believe sharing some valuable information with us so until next time you know what I'm going to say don't be average be world-renowned bye